Hello everyone and welcome back to the Duchess of Unicorn YouTube channel. Here on this channel, if you haven't been here before, I give my opinions and ideas, comments, views, commentaries, just sharing with you what I think about the Meghan Markle, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry situation. And if you're interested in that, then you're in the right place. It's fun. It's definitely lighthearted, but... I do like to share my view on what's happening. And so I'm based in the United States and I share my browser looking for content to talk with you and share with you about. If you find at any time during this video that you find something resonates with you or it's just kind of something you might be interested in, in checking out at a later date, please like and subscribe. It helps to have uh, the videos show up in search on YouTube and wherever else. So, of course, I have to now give you the disclaimer, which you all know. It's for entertainment purposes only. It's my opinion, views, it's hearsay, um, and they're my own. I'm based in the United States, and I believe in the freedom of speech, which is the first and part of the First Amendment, and I exercise that here. But, however, I do not... Uh, become disrespectful here. It's just me sharing honest opinions with whomever feels that they would like to listen. So I appreciate you and let's get into it. The full disclaimer is in the comments below. Okay, so today I'm looking at an article that is showing again photos from the past. So I like to call them aged photos. The Royal Expert makes concerning claim about Megan's relationship with Harry's friends. So let's just run through it. Hard eye roll. Megan famously does not read about herself, and I believe that's a lie. Sorry, that's my opinion. And it's just as well because some of what's written isn't all that nice. Oh, so there's a lot of people that share their opinions and thoughts on a higher, broader level and platform. Oh, I'm shocked. Okay. If she's not being trolled online, she's getting it in the press from family members and for some reason, Piers Morgan. Now, one royal biographer is claiming that Meghan still hasn't managed to break into Prince Harry's inner circle. Despite being his wife and having a child with him, Angela Levin has said that some of his pals reckon she's taken over. I think she's not popular in a lot of circles, often because they adore Harry and they seem to think that she's running the show, she told broadcaster Gail King in a TV special about Meghan and Harry this week, which, by the way, I want to interject this, this article is about 10 months old, so uh, don't go looking for the Gail King article like you missed something present day. This is from about nine or 10 months ago. Apparently, some of Megan's feminist and social, social opinions don't sit well with the upper class types the prince, the prince hangs out with. Kaisha Kai, editor of online magazine The Glow Up, shot back at criticism, exposing it to be pretty racist and sexist. Whether it is saying she is difficult or demanding... There is subtext there that reads very much into the angry black woman stereotype that leads into a domineering woman stereotype and that doesn't just allow her to be a human being who has agency and who has, who wants to do the best she can. Now, I don't feel that that's really accurate. How do we know she's doing the best she can? And she, has she ever said, I'm doing the best I can? To the UK citizens? Did she have an interview sit down with someone and tell them, I am doing the utmost best I can? And has she been talking about certain things written about her and then denying them on camera documented? No. She's made broad comments like, I, I, I knew it would be, I knew it would be hard, but I didn't know it wouldn't be fair or something to that effect. So she's saying statements, but she's not specifically addressing exactly to what she has an issue with. Just a kind of blanket effect for everybody. 
I think that any criticism that infers that Harry has somehow been manipulated by Megan is is not just unfeminist, but it's unfair to him as well. So unfeminist, does that mean un -BFF ish Does that mean we aren't being girlfriendy or woman to woman fist pump? Um, I don't know. Um, who, who said in the first place that anyone has to be feminist? Now that's a new buzzword to, again, declare a certain stance on something and unite with other people who want to hide behind the word feminist. Listen, I just don't want to be labeled. I just want to be me. But it's funny, Megan doesn't mind being called a feminist because she said herself that she's a feminist. So she asserts herself with that word and she doesn't mind being categorized or having a label put on it, but she doesn't want to have a label put on being biracial or black or white or, you know, it's like, in this, in this current times and these events, it's like you have to follow what's on trend. And that's what it seems like Megan is always trying to do. That seems like a lot of running to me. Sounds about right. Here's hoping Angela, who wrote Harry, a biography of a prince, is wrong about this. So if you guys are all interested and you do a little bit reading, you can audio, you know, maybe it's on audio. Um, and you know, you can also look for the book, Harry, a bi biography of a prince. That's where they're going to have some of this information that we are referring to right now. Of course, this isn't the first time we've heard of a rift between the Duchess and her husband's conservative friends. It has, it was reported last year that her outspokenness on certain issues has rubbed some up the wrong way. She is ultra liberal and that trendy lefty stuff does not go down well with some of Harry's friends. And this is from Lady Collins Campbell, who was a close friend of Lady Diana's, told the Daily Beast. So I, I just wanted to tune in on that article. And yes, this, this was nine months ago. This article was written and I wanted to bring it up because, again, this whole PR tactic stance putting how she feels out there has been in place months and months ago. We are just now seeing the residuals of that. Like it's like a slow snowball and the whole trendy on term leftist, um, liberal feminist, um, outspoken, um, trying to decipher whether she's black, white, all this has been in place early on to help support the narrative of today, which is her exiting the royal family, exiting the UK, running away back somewhere to either Canada, where she felt comfortable because she has um, com comrades there, which is basically Marcus and the other woman, Jessica Moroni, and who other who else knows what other little people that she has in her corner or in the United States where she obviously has friends and family and where she's from, even though it seems like most of her family isn't really even in contact with her. So I wanted to show you this article because I thought it, it really points to the fact that I'm trying to make is that all that we're seeing play out in the, the PR, the, all the PR playing out in publicity right now in the papers and and news outlets is all been set up, you know, 10 months ago, a year ago, and it's all being played out just basically after the Africa tour. And I'm sure the Africa tour, how they're going to present themselves. And if they hired the event team, which goes out and shows like there were people waiting for them and, and cheering them on, because even today people wonder if it is true that event you know, event companies that place actors and actresses in your scenario have been placed there. And so are those people real? Those people that cheered them on, are they real? Are they all real? Maybe there was 20 people there. How will we ever know if we, the common person, didn't fly over to Africa and show up where they were going to be? And how likely can we be one of those people to fly there and be one of those people that are allowed to be there. Don't you think that a lot of people would be vetted to make sure that nobody was there that wasn't identifiable and that couldn't cause them harm, for instance? After all, Prince Harry did marry someone outside of his own race and he is a 
royal. And there are people out there and organizations who have sent things and said things that, you know, speak to him being a type of traitor to his race. So wouldn't you think people that were at different areas where they're show, showing up on their tour, wouldn't at the time they be vetted? I would think they would. I would think that me flying over to Africa, if I could, just to see them as a spectator in the crowd, I would be vetted. Who are you? And and I'm sure eyes would be on me. Why have all that security then? So I just wanted to point this out to you, and I'm not going to go any further because I think I was self-explanatory, but I think that reading this article to you, there is a book that has been written and it may be worth picking up and you can always check out the Gail King special. Um, I'm sure if you, you know, Google Gail King's TV special, Megan and Harry, it'll come up and I'm sure it's all over YouTube. But the book itself, that book, Harry, a biography of a prince, is out there and if you want to pick it up you can read it because I think it'll talk and speak a lot about how he's been uh, kind of removed from his friends circle because of Megan's involvement in his life and it still makes me think is, is has been able Megan been put there to be some type of mole to kind of work her way in and kind of kick up dirt or has she been placed there to be a uh, obstacle or illusion or something to get our attention off of Prince Andrew and all that other crap that's going on because what else would be reported but other silly things such as him and his crazy weird involvement in an American gentleman who you know hurt other women and was persecuted and prosecuted for it and then just supposedly quote-unquote died we're more concerned about Megan. What does that tell you about people in general, the way the world? What does that tell you? Okay, thank you for watching. And you know what I hope you'll do. If you have a moment, take a moment to like or subscribe or both and ring the bell because you'll get alerts as to when I, up, I up, upload. All right, it's been a long day. I'm going to call it a night. Take care and be well. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.